Oh, hi, look, it's Judy Girl. I'm gonna call her up. Hey, Judy. You ready for another episode of Disney and Magic at Kingdoms? Judy? Judy? Judy. Hey everybody and welcome back to another update of Dylan's Magic Kingdom or Disney Magic Kingdom or DMK, whatever you want to call it at this point. I just want to start this video by saying, hi, I'm back, I'm back. We don't know how long I'll be back for but this is a different format of video so basically I was noticing when I would film them every day it was getting to be a lot and also interesting stuff wasn't always happening and I felt like it was kind of boring to just watch me check my kingdom sometimes so I'm trying a new type of video I took footage from all week like the most exciting stuff from my kingdom and I compiled it into well, I guess one video, but I'm splitting it up into three because it was like 30 minutes long and nobody would watch 30 minutes. So, after watching this video, tell me down in the comments if you're watching, if you're following along, which I don't know if anybody is, but if you are, comment down below which type of video you like better. This type of video or the other type of video, which was supposed to be daily, but I don't think I'll ever get back to that. Anyway, so it's about a week worth of footage I'm gonna split it up into three videos and probably post them Monday Wednesday Friday if this even gets done because I'm already stressing out obviously the video footage is gonna be old when it's posted today as I'm filming my face capture it is March 11th which means tomorrow the onward event starts I'm so excited as you can see in this footage I have it on my calendar and I hope you guys are excited too I know at first I wasn't so happy because I wanted some classic characters into the kingdom, but after watching the update that DMK did on their Facebook Live, um, what, Friday? I think? I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure it's Friday. And I think you can go back and still watch it now if you want to. They did announce that next update they're going to be adding more permanent content with classic characters. Okay guys, so we are freaking lit in this house. Um, let's jump right into the footage. We're going to start off right now with the end of the freaking Jungle Book storyline, which is crazy, and the start of the Peter Pan storyline in our kingdom. Now, yeah, let's just do it. Let's watch some that go. Oh man, this is one swinging party, kid, and it's all thanks to you. Uh, by the way, I don't know what these voices are, okay, so don't be attacking me in the comments. I know they're garbage. That's my brand, remember? Thanks. And you and Bagheera too, Baloo. Having friends like you is one of the best things about being in the jungle. The wildest party around. I wonder what new adventures we'll get into tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, and there you see it. Ah, full moon high in the sky. There's always a little bit more magic than usual at such times. And given the kingdom's customary state, that is saying something. Yes, I think tonight will be a night for dreamers, adventurers, and storytellers, or perhaps all three at once. Welcome, my darling. Welcome, Wendy, darling. And the reason I had to speak so fast is because I obviously didn't give myself enough time in the capture to say it comfortably, but that's fine. We're checking out Wendy, darling, and what tokens she needs. She needs a lot of them, and they are long quests, y'all. I'm still collecting for her to this day. I don't even think I'm a third way there yet, which completely crushes my goal, if you guys remember, of finishing the main storyline in 365 days of playing the game. That's not going to happen anymore, but you know what? We're happy about that. One must never underestimate a predator. After all, they're nothing if not persistent. I don't know what... His voice is, like, changing. Welcome, Shere Khan. This is a side quest. He also has long quests, 12-hour quests to get his tokens, but it's okay, because... I was almost ready to take a break at this point in the game, if we're being honest here. So right now, I'm just putting people on, or just picking ready to get one of these hat. Arg! This ship is mine, and I be Captain Barbosa once more. I, oh, Master Turner! You do have an unfortunate habit of turning up unexpected, don't you? <laughs> and I read too fast. Ooh, I need to get better. You could say that. But as I arrived here first, if you want this ship, I suggest you take it up with Captain Sparrow. You better tell him, Orlando Bloom. Look at him. <laughs> Y'all know Katy Perry is pregnant? Yes. 
put the Orlando Bloom, baby? I might not like your tone, me lad, but you do have the loveliest ideas. Full sail. Fighting Jack's far more satisfying than fighting Turner. We have a history, he and I. Quest complete. High five. Ah, Captain Jack Sparrow. Ooh, that was way too quick. Ah, Barbosa. Sensing a little hostility from you, mate. Well, more than usual. These voices are trash, I'm so sorry. Relax, Jack. I'm only here to, uh, settle a question of ownership, shall we say. Once and for all. I don't know where he's from or what his accent is. I'm so sorry. Old Frenemies side quest. Send Jack and Barbosa to discuss the ship. So let's do that. Oh, wait, we can't because Jack Sparrow said, I have no time for this. Excuse you. I think we're about to jump into more dialogue. Or no, I think we're just doing random stuff now. So, I think I'm just collecting people and collecting magic. But basically what I was saying before I was cut off by annoying tall Barbosa is that I was gonna like, I wanted a break from the game. Especially getting Wendy and seeing how like long she was gonna take. I was like, I don't know if I can do this anymore, I kinda want a break. But, I realized that the game is basically giving me a break, right? So, we are... Sorry. Don't mind that. So we are basically just waiting to collect for this girl. And while we're doing that, we can save up magic, we can buy like new land slots, we can level characters up, which is another thing you'll see later in the week. Next video, I think, is the first time that we dabble in the leveling up. But you know what? Actually, you know what? I think it's the third video. But I promise you, there's certain stuff, certain special songs that are coming for our characters that are leveling up to a certain level. Here we're just opening a chest, Wi-Fi tokens, Dante snack token, common blueprints, which I'm hoarding. I think everybody is at this point. Um, because when that Tomorrowland um, thrill level opens up, I want to have it done as quick as I can. The only thing I'm struggling with is souvenir concessions. I find them so hard to get. I only have one and I think I need five or something like that. So I'm looking forward to it to get more magic, but I'm also not looking forward to it because it's going to stress me out. But what does in this game at this point? So yeah, we're just collecting from different people. Jesse is a level 10. Uh, 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 uh. And at this point, if you guys remember, or I don't actually remember if I said it in the last video because I don't remember. Repetitive AF. Um, I'm trying to get all the gem attractions in the game. Like, that's the current goal while I'm playing this footage right here with 35 gems. And I need 95 to get the last gem attraction, which was Wally's house. So y'all have to stay tuned for the videos to see if I get it, if I have it yet. <laughs> In terms of plans for future gem use, I am looking into the parade, th th the parade side of things um, with getting the Jungle Book parade float and the Peter Pan to try to help with the characters. But, in current time, um, Shere Khan, I don't really feel like is that urgent to get. Plus, he's 820,000 something magic, and I'm not trying to spend that. So, with that being said, I don't think I'm going to get that parade float. Just Peter Pan one. Less gems to spend. And then there's also some costumes I need to get with gems, too, but... That's later, because I don't really do anything at this point. So yeah, just collecting here. Um, lots of magic happiness. I love the Lady and the Tram floats. I love that it has a chance of giving you like a lot of magic. It's my favorite. I love her so much. Oh, yeah, and also, I don't feel as bad for spending all that money on the Little Mermaid collection because I did end up getting all the concessions. No, not concessions. Actually, yeah, probably concessions. And attractions minus 
two characters. I have basically the whole collection. And now we find out they're getting new quests and they're helping out with the Onward event. So was it worth it for that money? No. But do I feel less bad about spending all that money? Yes, absolutely I do. Speaking of the Onward event, I'm super duper excited. You guys won't see that for another week. So I don't know why I'm talking about it right now, but don't really know what else to talk about while I'm collecting all this stuff that no one cares about. And if you're wondering, you're like, why are you not tapping on any magic, dude? Now, I don't know why it took me so long to remember this, because I feel like the game literally tells you it. But, <clears throat> if you have a parade running, and you collect magic from stuff, it is... You get additional magic. And that could actually be a lie, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's true. So I usually, for some reason, do all the characters, like I try to collect for all the characters. And then I've been using Merlin's Gathering spell a lot lately. I didn't used to use it at all. But, I mean, I might as well, right? Who wants to tap all those things when you can just use Merlin? So that's what we're doing right here, Gathering Spell. Prickly Pears, Pascal, Pua hat. Pua, guys, after getting that hat, is literally ready to go to level 10. Pua, y'all. So that's pretty exciting. Bas yeah, I had to cut out a whole thing here. I was like, why is my game glitching? But it was the ad. So this is Jack and Barbosa discussing the ship. Okay. They're going to sit in my kingdom, fight outside of my... One of my favorite dogs, House. Thank God he wasn't in it trying to sleep. For four hours. Four hours. That's what I'm showing you right here. It's four hours long, guys. Don't. When I'm trying to. If I was trying to sleep and somebody was fighting like that for four hours, why? Rafiki's all up in there. Oh, here's C3PO. How unprecedented. I am fluent in over seven million forms of communication. Where is he from? But I am quite certain I've never seen that particular series of impertinent hand gestures before. I'm so sorry guys. Star Wars fans. <laughs> Quest complete. Impeccable service. All that simply because I happened to jostle his beverage? What is the galaxy coming to? I don't know. Oh! <sighs> I forgot to mention. That was from him becoming level 10. The quest opened up. So I think all of his quests or side quests are done right now unfortunately but we'll see and with that guys that's the end of the first episode i feel like i probably bored you the whole time if i did i am so sorry i cannot promise that these will get better because they probably will not but if you enjoyed i'm so glad and i will see you guys next time for another episode of disney up magic kingdoms see ya